I'm on the trim hill on this uh, yellow Jeep Cherokee. I wonder here, do you uh, think it's best to restore this trim or sand it down? Now, this is what we're working on here. As you can see here. Got the rims all painted up a little bit. All right, so here what we're going to do, we're going to sand this trim. See, does it work better by sanding it instead of trying to restore it? Let's hit it. It may work. It may not. It might not work. I don't know. As you can see, it's kind of husky looking. Now she's starting to turn back black here. Oh, yeah, it's working. I just wanted to see will it work all together. Yeah. I'm doing the stain as you can see here. Just sand it off like this ain't nothing but a scarring pad I'm using here. Sometimes best to sand the trim, cut it down to a new surface. basically work like a heat gun basically as you guys can see here basically like a heat gun as you sand it right on down here oh yeah it's working okay so let's wipe it off I'm trying to put stuff on it. Sometimes, you know, it just don't do no good. But y'all see it works. Get your piece of scarring pad. Sometimes sand it. And then, after you do that, take some kind of polish and just come behind it like a, with a polish. And smooth it out like here. Like I'm doing here. And uh, it's a done deal. All right. So let's buff that back off. We just use that polish to kind of smooth it out here. Let's hit it. As you guys can see, it works. It helps it, smooths it out. Check that out. All right, y'all, I just want to share that with y'all, man. Working on that trim, man. Sometimes it's best to get you a piece of scarring pad and sand it down here. Yeah. Good to go. All right, that's how you do it. I'm out of here. Peace.